How do I improve my driving? How do I hit it further? As I'm getting into a lesson with a student, you know, it, it almost always comes up, how high should I tee up the ball? What I tell players is you want to see the ball about halfway, half of the ball above the top line of the driver. So you can see there on this driver, I am about half the ball above the top line of the driver versus a little too low. Why that's important is leading to the next question of how am I going to get, how am I going to hit this ball further? One of the most important things we can use TrackMan and this great technology out here at our learning center is working on angle of attack with the driver. So many players, especially LPGA Tour pros, they do the best job in the world at hitting a positive attack angle on their driver. It's hard to see that with the naked eye, but you need technology, you need the computers, you need TrackMan to see what that club is doing at impact. Is that club coming down and striking downward onto the shot, which you actually want with an iron, but with a driver, that's actually going to cause you to lose distance. To maximize distance with the driver, we actually want to be hitting up on it with an ascending blow later in the swing arc, because that's going to get the ball flying high with less spin. That's going to go through the air and go further. Ultimately, that's going to lead to longer drives. So as we're working with club fit out here at the academy and working on attack angle, that's how we're going to maximize distance. So I'm going to give you a real quick tip on how to increase attack angle because so many players come to me and they set up with a driver just like they would a seven iron. They're very narrow with their stance. Their, their shoulders are very level. That's not going to maximize distance with a driver. When you see the best drivers in the world, you look at the world long drive guys, they have a much wider base. That's going to enable them to swing faster and get more speed. But more importantly is their spine angle. So as I get in this too level of a, of, of a spine angle here, my shoulders get level, I can't launch this ball high with little spin. I'm actually going to part more spin striking down on it. So to increase attack angle, I'm going to actually tilt my hips forward just a hair, and my spine is going to tilt back away from the ball a little bit. So I'm going to hit two shots here for you and show you the difference of what I'm talking about. So as I get in here, I get players that are too level. They're too level with their shoulders and they swing down on the ball. That's going to launch the ball very low. It's not going to maximize carry. Also, it's not going to maximize the ideal spin that you want to see this ball fly through the air. So as I get in here with a much wider base, I now tilt my hips forward and my spine angle just a hair behind the ball. That's going to center me behind the ball where I can hit up on this ball and create a lot of speed, launch this ball high with very little spin. So if I look at those two numbers on TrackMan, we might be looking at a downward negative three attack angle with that first one versus a positive three attack angle on that second one. That's going to lead to more distance and longer drives for you at home.